What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all in another um, video, man. Uh, real quick, yo, there's um, reports that Kawhi Leonard, the finals MVP, the man who took down my Miami Heat from getting the three P, the man who took down the Golden State Warriors from getting the three P, is is wants to have a meeting with the Los Angeles Lakers, but he only wants Magic Johnson and Genie Bus present for that. Yo. Uh, well, first off, man, if he does decide to go there, just from a basketball team wise, they will probably become the greatest big three of them. <laughs> like. When you consider LeBron James, who's arguably, you know, in the, you got three of the top five players in the game, basically. You know, you could make the argument between LeBron James, Kevin Durant, you know what I'm saying, and um, and, and um, Kawhi for being the top in the league, and Anthony Davis is like right behind him. So if them three got together, that's the greatest big three of all time. First off, um. Second off, man, for Kawhi's sake, man, I know he really want to be in L.A. I know that's where he's from. Um, man, go to the Clippers, bro. Me, personally, I feel like he should stay in Toronto, man. You running a whole country. You the sultan of a whole country. You got people like Jafar and Aladdin trying to steal magic lamps to get that type of privilege, man. You got that in Toronto, yo. So me personally, I feel like he should stay out there and just continue to, to you know, soak it all in and grow in his legacy out there. Not to mention, they got a good team. You know, pretty much the whole team will be coming back. Not only that, man, um, Kawhi seems like an alpha dog, man. You know, you went, like I said, you took down the Warriors, you took down my Heat. You're a two-time finals MVP. You've won defensive player of the year multiple times. Why you want to go be part of LeBron's legacy, man? My thing is, think about it, why Kyrie wanted to leave, yo. Now, I'm not saying Kyrie left and that was the right decision <laughs> for him, but remember game seven when they was, when they, when they was down 3-1 and they came back and tied up the 73 win Golden State Warriors. And late in the game, it was a tie game. Of course, LeBron had the big time block on Andre Iguodala. Not long after that, man, Kyrie Irving, hit one of the most clutches final shots you gonna ever see. He hit a three-pointer in the face of the unanimous MVP, Steph Curry, on the road in the game seven to put him up three where they hung on and won this game. Nobody talks about that shot today. You know what we hear about today? LeBron's block on Iguodala. Granted, it was historic, it was big, but nobody talks about Kyrie's shot, yo. The following year, going into the playoffs, people was like, on the jump was like, can LeBron beat this Golden State Warriors team? Not can the Cleveland Cavaliers do it, can LeBron do it, yo? So me personally, if, if Kawhi Leonard is an alpha dog, you feel me? Once you go over there, bro, you ain't gonna get, you ain't gonna get the credit, but you will get the blame if, if y'all fall short somehow. But, I mean, but if he just wanna win, if he don't care about none of that, and he just wanna win championships though, and he does go there, Granted, I ain't gonna lie, they would be the prohibited favorite to win the NBA championship. With Kawhi, LeBron, Anthony Davis, and Kyle Kuzma, and they could go get a bunch of people at the youth, at the, the Y in LA, and complete their roster. And ain't nobody beating them, man. Especially with KD and Clay, most likely gonna miss the season, whether they sign with the Warriors or not. He go there, he gonna win a championship, man. But me personally, man, if you an alpha dog and you got pride, and you want, and you feel like you that guy, man, don't go nowhere around that, man. But if you want to just win, like basically like Kevin Durant, you know what I'm saying, and you just want to win, go over there and get your championships, man. Add on to your, your championship resume. But just know, you're going to be forgotten over there, man. Don't tell now, maybe when LeBron retires and you still there, that's different. But the next few years while LeBron there, you're going to be a forgotten dude, bro. But um, with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, give me a subscribe, man. I'm going to have NBA content, man, throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Let's go, Heat.